<laughs> I know we both look at Angie like. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't even Should I redo it? it? Should I redo I it? No, that was good. Okay. I didn't catch it until you guys both repeated. I was like, oh, I feel like we should keep that. Yeah. <laughs> we are the girls, the girls that read books, the books that go ooh. My name is Maria. I'm Angie, too. We also have Jenny. And Lucy, too. We, we are, are the book sluts who entertain you. Hello, listeners, and welcome to Book Sluts. I'm Jenny, and here with me is... I'm Angie. And I'm Maria. <laughs> on, this month's, on this month's book episode, we will be discussing The Tourist Attraction by Sarah Morgenthaler. So, ladies, let's get this started. Review. All right. So, I like this book. It gave me Gilmore Girl vibes. Basically, a lot of Luke and Lorelai, but a lot of Lorelai and all the guys she dated. Because Lorelai is the mom? The mom, yeah. Okay. Rory's mom. And a, little, a lot of Rory, too. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, like Jess. Oh, he like definitely get, they gave, it got mixed, Jess vibes. Yeah, yeah. Jess and... Yeah. Who's Jess? One of Rory's many boyfriends. Oh. But... Is that the owner of the... No, that's Lorelai. No, the the owner of the shop? Of the cafe? cafe, His nephew. I never watched this, so I'm confused. Oh my god, you gotta watch it now. I know bits and pieces of the show. So yeah, I really like it. It gives me the whole Gummer Girls vibe with the girl, with Rory and Lorelai and the men they've dated. And I give this book five stars. And a two, like the chile spice one. The chile spice? Half. half (laughs) Chop it in half. (laughs) Half a spice. Half a spice. (laughs) Okay. And Jay, what about you? Uh, I give it a, a 3.5. But it's not my cup of tea as far as it comes to books. It's too predictable. I thought the book was just too predictable. It has a little bit like things that you don't expect. But it's just not my type of book. But it's a good book. It's written really well. That it is. It is written really well. That's my opinion. <laughs> I'm staring at you. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to intimidate me, Jane. Like, trying to <laughs> <laughs> yeah i gave it four stars i really liked it i thought it was funny I thought it was romantic and it did remind me a lot of gilmore girls i never watched the show so i feel like i just dude we gotta do a marathon but it doesn't catch my attention i tried watching the show it's not like i didn't try but it's the same way the book didn't catch my attention it's just not my cup of tea Okay, so I have some questions to ask, but heads up, there might be some spoilers. Or there definitely is going to be some spoilers mm-hmm. on this book. So, question one. What three words would you use to describe this book? Funny. You guys could, could say it together. Oh, we're doing oh, it together? together? I thought together. we were each other. Why do you think I went like this? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I did the uh, side eye. <laughs> Um, quirky. No. Oh, that's two. What? What is um sarcastic? He's really sarcastic, right? Is that what you call him? Yeah, he's yeah. he's sarcastic. He's sarcastic. He's smart he's ass. A smart ass. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so were there any quotes that stood you? out to you? Um, I went along with you guys. What did you say? I said sarcastic. <laughs> I said sarcastic. <laughs> well, honestly, witty, cute, and he's very charismatic. There Graham. You go. Okay. So were there any quotes or passages that stood out to you guys? I did have one. Okay. I did like it. He goes, okay, let's start over. Hi, I'm Graham. And I want a burrito. Get... Give me her room key or I'll kill you. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. That was funny. I yeah. think he was talking to Grass. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Grass. <laughs> was it named Grass? Yeah. I think so, yeah. yeah. Uh, who names our kid Grass? I think that was my mind that stuck to me. The, what is that guy's name? The son of the owners of the resort. Isn't it Jack? Yeah. No, no, Killian's, no, Killian's mom is yeah, cousin. Lana's cousin. Never mind. There's two Killians. There's two Killians. There's two race car Killian, Killian and Polo wearing Killian. <laughs> yeah. so, so Killian is, this Killian is race car Killian. Oh. No, but I think the guy's name is Jack. I don't remember. Whatever. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, please. Or I'll go back and listen, I guess. But him, he said that. Who names her kid Grass? <laughs> I do have another quote I did like, but is what Zoe thought of Graham. That Graham would be a problem, a sexy problem. Oh. 
Yes, he was. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, which places in the novel would you like to visit? Alaska in general, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I want to visit the end of their bike um, when they weren't supposed to go on the ATV tour. Oh. But I want to visit that end where they stop and take pictures in front of the ocean. I want I want to visit that location. Oh, that sounds cool. That sounds like a beautiful location. Mm-hmm. Me, I would like to visit the tourist trap. It sounds Ooh. like fun because I want to try a growly bear and see try a reindeer hot dog. I know they look weird as fuck, but it's because he designed them. <laughs> Remember, as reindeers, they're not actual reindeer. I know my no. boob again. Oh, they're not actually reindeer. Meat? No, I thought they were. they were. He designed them into little reindeer. No, I know they, they are, but they're reindeer meat. Oh fuck! That I was totally off. <laughs> <laughs> he does design them into reindeers. Yeah. He does do that, but it's actually reindeer meat. That's why she didn't like it. Oh, yeah. so that's so Yeah. Um. Okay, so what drew you into the book and made you keep reading? I know hard, difficult questions. You go, Maria. Be honest, honesty. Just My honest. honesty. It was the book of the month. <laughs> I knew, I felt like I just, I knew where it was going. You know what, Drew, remember we were watching the YouTubes and it, there was a, like a movie trailer for oh. it. Oh, And that's yeah. why we wanted to read it. Oh, really? There's a trailer for but it. But when you so were when, reading it. Oh, when, when I was reading, reading it. it. I, well, I want to know when you were reading it. Now I know why you guys picked the book. Yeah, what drew you into the book and made you keep reading? I wanted to see, no, I, I knew they were going to end up together. Um... I thought it, it was charming. I like the the characters. I like pretty much all the characters. Especially Easton. Yes. Yeah, there you go. I was trying to think of his name. You know what? I honestly like Killian. Yeah? <laughs> Which yeah. one? Because one of them was the one that is sweeter than the other one. No, but I got confused. There's only one Killian in this one. Yeah, there's two, but there's only one that hangs out with them. The oh, Race Car oh. Killian and Polo wearing were Killian. See, that's where I got confused. I know it was always confusing, but she would always say that it was the race car. So Killian. who was the other guy that was there? Wasn't there another rich dude? Yeah, yeah that's there a was, friend. Yeah, they were that's friends. That's Killian's. Those are Killian's friends and oh. girlfriend. Killian's yeah. friends, girlfriend. The one that would drink and drive. Is that who you're talking about? The friend. I don't know. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I feel like I got really lost in the names. Okay, so. What made me keep reading the book was the first page that got me hooked when Graham was describing his morning, how peaceful and quiet it was until Ulysses started making love to his truck. <laughs> 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 that's what made me keep reading the book. And that's like the first like first paragraph of the book. Really? The first chapter. Yeah, that was funny. I thought it was so funny. Stephen Moose made love <laughs> to his truck because it smelled like cinnamon Cinnamon rolls? It, yeah. yeah, cinnamon rolls. No, like the buns he used for the burgers. No, no it, it was, was cinnamon, cinnamon rolls. rolls. Cause he would go out of town to get them. He would go out of town to get the buns from the cinnamon roll place. Yeah, but because of the smell of the cinnamon buns. Of the buns. That, why do you think he would win? Check. When Ulysses Check. would popped up on the window and it was doing a, a stupid tongue thing Check. was because of the cinnamon buns. Check. Because the they don't. Rolls. They don't. I mention can't check. The cin- She's checking. No, I feel pressured. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't focus now. I'm just looking at the pages okay. and <laughs> not reading. You said the first one. No, they smell like cinnamon rolls, though. It's because they didn't mention the cinnamon rolls until he took her to the cinnamon rolls. No. No, they mentioned it at first, too. Or maybe you're right. I don't know. Now I'm second guessing myself, but that's why he would go to that store too because yeah, because of, of the buns. It was the buns. Uh, it was all about Graham's buns, but because of the yeah. Wait, it was from the cinnamon roll place. But you I'm guys are right. Sure it's cinnamon buns, no, they call the cinnamon. Bun. They call buns. them buns. They're bu- they're the buns for the hamburgers. You guys, you put them. You gonna put them in cinnamon rolls? I'm just gonna say the uh, cinnamon buns. <laughs> you're but you're buns. gonna confuse people. It's, it's the buns for his burgers at his burger place. All right, Angie, freshly get it. Made. Stop yelling at me. I'm not trying to yell at you. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, okay, so we were wrong. Angie was right. One point for Angie, zero point for us. <laughs> no, I got one point down because the dude's name is Jackson, not Jack. All right, I got one point down, too, because <laughs> it's not go. Killian Polo wearing. It's Killian pl- Polo playing. Oh, my gosh. How funny. Okay, so were there any plot twists that you loved or hated or maybe hated? I 
wanted him with Lana. I, I I'm not a fan of Zoe. I think she's black. She's black. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? No idea yet. I kind of wish she would have left. If I'm being honest, Zoe. Yeah. Not not because I didn't want the romance to happen. I wanted it to be more. I don't know. Like based. Basically him chase after I wanted it to be not predictable. Like I didn't oh. want her to stay. Like I knew she was gonna stay. I don't know. Well one of the ones was basically when Killian tackled and punched oh, Killian. Graham tackled and punched Killian. Over what for happened? Her? No, for yeah, for leave basically leaving ba- kind of quote lost. unquote leaving Zoe. I just thought that was stupid, like unfair. You didn't like it? I did not like that he did that. Because why are you going to blame one guy? She wanted to go out. And it wasn't like technically they did try go looking for her, I guess. In her anger, though. In his in his, his anger. anger he, because you don't he think knew, rationally. Yeah, because, you know, he was flirting with Zoe and he didn't like that. Remember when they're playing pool and Killian was all up on her and stuff. And that's what he yeah, was retaliating for. That's, not really the, the not mm-hmm. the whole. But doesn't that make it more real to you? It makes it more believable. Yes, but I didn't like that. You didn't like I that did he hit like, him? Yeah, because it didn't make any sense to me. Like, It made sense to me. Maybe to you, but to me it was like, why the fuck are you going to do that, Graham? Like, why? Killian, it wasn't Killian's fault. You should be but yelling at Zoe too. Why. You told me why he did it, to get revenge. I know, but at the point I was so mad. Like, <laughs> why are you doing that? And then, you know, you think about it like, oh, okay, yeah. But still, like. You didn't like it. I didn't like it. Did Not you say yours, bit. Maria? Yeah, I said that I, I want him with Lana. <laughs> oh, that's Nobody right. else felt the <laughs> chemistry. Yeah, they yeah. had especially when he was like picking her up after that person like threw her down remember like oh that was when he went to find to defend her yeah see but i i like that because it's like it shows people you can be friends with the opposite sex without it always having to be sexual i would have been pissed if i was zoe i'd be like don't fucking what do you mean I don't know. It was. Well, are we not talking about the same scene? What yeah. are you talking about? Yeah. Well, no, no, no. About, about how she prefers Graham to be with Lana. I get her because Graham would say some stuff too. Like, oh, she wears that dress. Yeah. So well. But that's his personality. Yeah, but still, he's over here having Google eyes for Zoe, but he's also checking out her best friend. Okay, but is he, or is it the way that she's describing Lana? Is the way he mm. was described. Yeah. She, who did he the describe way Lana to? To himself. What do you mean to himself? Yeah, when Lana would walk into the room, he would say she wore, like, it basically kind of like an example, she would wear that dress well, like how it fit her curves, how he was talking about her body and stuff. And then he was nice to everybody. I mean, he, he no, he was nice to only her. He hates everybody, but he was really nice to Lana all the time. He let her get away with her shit. She was the only... T- that, but that's what I'm saying. So I'm like, why? In my like in to- my head, see... I don't know how to explain it. Explain it as well as you can. In To me, it shows, okay, cool. Like... Like, I have had friends that are just friends, but, like, if you're with somebody... But that's why I don't want to talk to him anymore because I don't feel like if you're... In a relationship, I'm gonna but he wasn't like in a, a relationship. <laughs> See, but this is what no, I'm saying. No, no, no. I get, I get what you mean. But he wasn't in a relationship when all that stuff was happening. He wasn't in a relationship. He wasn't necessarily trying to get at Zoe either. Till the no, no. Pay when they were no, but the, the scene that I'm talking about it was like they took her. Like she, they were in the hotel. He, they he found was, her in the room like that. Yeah. I'll cut so you're mad that he was trying to defend her? No, no. Uh, it's not like, mad. That's not what I meant to say. I felt like they had a thing. Like, he has a connection to her, to Lana. Yeah, like a stronger connection. Yeah, I feel feel that more to me. Huh? I do prefer him more with Zoe. Yeah, I don't. Like, they're the same person, if you think about it. They're the same person, so, like. Yeah. I don't know. Lana and Graham are the same person? Are the same person. Think about it. Because the way she talks about Graham, too. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's it's, it's, sexy. It's their friendship dynamic. But you don't talk about your friends like that. You don't. You've never tried to. No, no, maybe not Jen. Sorry. Let me. You've never had a friend in school who's trying to hook you up with someone. And they obviously they're going to talk the dude up. And they've been friends for years. It's not like their friendship is brand new. They've been friends for years. I don't call my friends sexy. I don't think we're in that comfort zone. Maybe you are. But you guys are also married. No, I don't do that. But even saying I don't do that. No, even for back. Even I'll be like, oh, he's ugly like, he's like, like no like if my friend would tell me i go tell me tell that guy i like him and i would go and you know i'd be like she likes you i would not talk yeah, to my friend that's not her like job that. yeah you would just be like oh yeah like that pretty much just say hey he likes you and that's it but not be like oh he's oh this, he's look that. at her ass 
<laughs> I could drop a dime on that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just that's my opinion. <coughs> I guess we just all have a different, a different opinion, opinion. opinion about it. And me, it. it's just that's their friendship dynamic. And because Lana reminds me of Lorelai. From Lorelai? Oh, Rose my God. Mom. Yes. Yes. I think that's what more, like, I wanted them together from oh. the show Gilmore Girls. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> oh. And so, let's move on. <laughs> Would you read another book by this author? Yeah. I like the way she wrote the book. The writing was really well. I just didn't like the story. No, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? I want to read the Easton book. Oh. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yes. I would. I didn't know they had a book. Should, maybe you should read that one next. Not, well, in the Eventually, new future. Yeah. In the future. I would definitely re- want to read one. I want to see where Lana goes and I want to see where Easton goes. Yeah. I want them to be together. Just she because they're so opposite. She seems too much for Easton, honestly. Yeah, Easton Lana is seems too much for Easton. Heck yeah. He's like a low maintenance, just. But she don't need him to be high maintenance. She already high maintenance. Yeah, she does but that for, for him, herself. for him in general, you get me? Like, yeah, he. I didn't get that bite from him. Like, he's not. He's not into that. He's like, not at into all. nobody. <laughs> Maybe he needs a hiking girl. A hiking girl. Someone that's like active. Oh, basically. Okay. Maybe we'll find out in the Eastern book. Okay, did you guys race to the end or was it more of a slow burn for you? No, I raced to the end. <laughs> just, why? Because just I, just, I just wanted to know that all my stuff was right. Yeah, like huh. that everything that I thought would see, like that everything I saw coming came. Yeah. What about you, Maria? I don't remember. <laughs> it's alcohol, isn't it? No, no, it's because it's hard to like sit there and read, you know, so it's sometimes it's not even the book. It's just that the kids are bothering me and I don't feel like oh, keep, to keep going and okay. reading it. You know what I mean? I got you. But how did you feel? Did you feel like you didn't want to put the book down? No. Yeah, actually. Yeah, I liked it. I, I really did. I would say I liked it. I picked the when I first picked it up, I couldn't put it down. So I finished it in like a day <laughs> and a half. That's fast. Yeah, I really liked it. I like the witty banter and his quotes. Yeah. I like him and as a person. And his dog that he dressed up in little Aww, in so little cool. outfits. <laughs> even though the dog was blind and he still agreed he agreed on some things and not on mm-hmm. some things. I thought that was cute that he gave his dog a whole personality like that. And how his dog looked at everybody else but him sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was cute. But I did like the moose. Oh yeah. Dude, that pissed me off when they freaking shot the moose. I was well, they, they needed it was to, to tranquilize. Relo- yeah. relocate No, I know. I know. It wasn't his fault. It was the extra tourist who got too close to him. And people should know that. But Wild if, animals you should not approach. Yeah, but now the animal, you know. He's the dead. animal paid for it, not the human. I mean, the human, too, because he got hurt. But the, the animal is the one that got. Like he said, he like, I, understand, from his home. I understood his anger. Like, I think I, I definitely connect with Graham in that sense. I understand his anger. Like, that shit's not cool. That was not cool. And you can only intervene for so long because it's not his pet. It's a wild animal. He just so happens to be the one that <laughs> yeah. the animal sees more often. Okay, so I'm going to ask add one more question. No, I got two more. What was the scene that stuck with you guys? The one where she goes to get wax? Oh, I didn't look <laughs> it up. What was it called? I, I didn't look it funny. up. Okay, well, you look... Is there mm, <laughs> was the scene? <laughs> I think that one, that one when they had to relocate the moose. Oh, yeah. I I really and I think just because in the whole book I related with him. Like it was very easy, and and I think it's the way that she wrote it. It was very easy to put yourself in their shoes and feel what they were feeling. Like she described it really well without having to go into so much detail. But like the way he explained it to her is spot on. Like I I totally agree. Without having to be like a full on, full on like animal lover to the extent that you know that some people go, but it's understandable and it's it's definitely a reason to be upset. Yeah, mine was like when, 
when she gets lost and ends up on Graham's property and she's <laughs> running and screaming and she kicks and he's trying to save her. She kicks him in the balls. And my favorite part when they're describing how he dragged himself <laughs> into, the, into, into the, the little crate or whatever it was, workshop. the mm-hmm. workshop, and he closes the door. That shit was and funny. she's still screaming and everything. <laughs> she locks herself in the, in the house. <laughs> she thought he was going to murder her and everything, not knowing who he was. That was funny. That's a scene that, like... <laughs> I want to see it. That I you. definitely want to see, like, in a movie. I could recreate it with Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Gives me a chance to kick him in the balls. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to find it, but <laughs> it was something about the moose, like, special. You know how you, well, you guys remember how, like, yeah. the wax, instead of a Brazilian, it was, like, something f- funny. It wasn't, it like, supposed to be a shape of a moose? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> and then it was funny because, um, you know how it's, like, all locals. And when um, Graham brought it up, like, he was, like, making fun of her. <laughs> <laughs> like, he knew. Oh, it was- yeah, and how he said that he goes all manscaping and she got all red thinking the other thing. She And he was talking about his beard. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then how the lady, the one that waxed her, was all being rude to her. She's like, oh, it's all wrinkly down yeah. there. So, oh, my God. That's so mean. That's about that. That's terrible. <laughs> I know. That. What do you got to do to make it not wrinkly? <laughs> Water. Hydrate. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> You got to stay hydrated for your skin <laughs> to stay tighter. Okay, last question. What character do you guys relate to most? If there's any. Uh, probably Graham. I don't like people. <laughs> 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 They're annoying. I'm grumpy, too, most of the time. What about you guys? I think Lana. Only in the... She's very focused. Like, yeah, she has her whatever, but she's not super stuck up to where she won't hang out like with just the fact that she was even able to create a relationship with Graham being yeah. at her you know her and stature Zoe, Zoe and Zoe yeah. yeah 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 I like the way Zoe described their friendship and how they met and stuff I definitely that's cute mm-hmm. I relate to the damn moose <laughs> and that's I'll funny. go anywhere where buns are <laughs> I re- that, well that and uh, food wise but I think I relate a little bit to Zoe cause she was like smart and she quoted a lot of shit too like Graham she was a bit of a smart ass too mm-hmm. she liked to read too. she liked to read yeah and she I would definitely kick someone in the balls <laughs> she got instincts though yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah about it that's it that's all the questions I have so I have a book tip of the month. When taking off stickers from your books, I would suggest. No, I would not suggest in my like I try. Either. The blow dryer. For a few seconds, pick, pick, pick it a little bit. And if there's like residue, I use like the goo gone or the gone goo or whatever. It's goo called. gone. There we go. On a paper towel, I wouldn't spray it directly on the book. And just, you know, it takes out the residue because, you know, sometimes if it gets stuck, Mm -hmm. it keeps the residue stays on there. And then you get all the weird, like, clumpy shit or sometimes it gets stuck to another book. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's my tip of the day of the month. Well, this concludes today's book of the month episode. Our next month's read will be Neon Gods by Katie Roberts. So please subscribe to our social media platforms. And if you like to continue to have commercial free content, subscribe to our Patreon or YouTube page. See you later, sluts.